Okay. Hey, everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Widener Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs at below the competition way. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give a shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Whitener Show, international award-winning author Mia Mosenzia. If you love fast-paced mysteries, then you'll love Missing by Mia Mosenzia, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast-paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, and one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love will be the first to go missing. It's available on paperback and ebook on Amazon. Missing by Mia Mosenzia has garnered great reviews and is even loved by Hollywood celebs, including Joanne Cassidy, Forbes Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today, Missing by Mia Mosenzia, available on Amazon. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the MikeWidenerShow.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and Apple. And coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn. Heard worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Himalaya, and more. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel and follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with a terrific singer, songwriter, and very talented from Portland, Oregon. He was a front man for Hearts of Oak, and uh, he goes um, has a new project with Radio Receiver, and he's also had some songs called Billy Number 10, Bicycle Thief, Twisted Man. He'll be playing a couple of tunes um, later on as well, too, and a long time, um, you know, just well-known in the Portland area and live, ladies and gentlemen, plus studios in beautiful downtown Portland, Oregon. Ladies and gentlemen, the very multi-talented Nate Wallace of Radio Receiver. Nate, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Mike. Happy to be here. Well, it's great to have you on board. So you, you're, you've been living in Portland, Oregon for quite some time, and you're the front man for Hearts of Oak, and you also have a project called Radio Receiver. You've got Billy Number 10, Bicycle Thief, twisted man and more and um you've been uh, very fortunate to be working with some great people and a lot of um interesting influences and uh you you have a new project out and before we get into all that tell us how i first got started um i first got started in my you know when i moved to portland i moved to portland in about 1998 i think and uh started playing guitar then and i would have been about 21 maybe give or take um and just started learning guitar on my own because I moved here in the winter when it rains a lot and uh, I came up here from via California where I used to skateboard and uh, kind of just switched to playing music mostly because I didn't have my skateboard friends and uh, would spend a lot of time I'd either go to work or come home to this house I lived in and just sit in the room and uh, went to Powell's books and I've never heard of Powell's books and uh, bought the Neil Young Easy Guitar Anthology went to a pawn shop bought a guitar <laughs> in the flip those two around but within a couple of days um and just learned those songs that i'd already known all my life um and kind of took it from there and then uh i didn't start writing songs right away i played music with the friends who we'd once a week get together and jam and every week you'd be like what song am i going to learn and bring it to the jam kind of thing and then uh, they were also writing their own songs and we formed a band out of that and then eventually I just learned how gleaned writing songs from those guys, watching those guys do it. And, uh, and uh, yeah, it was just that kind of snowballed into just, I mean, I write fairly often now and uh, really enjoy it. And, uh, and I've kept doing it because it, it always evolves and you get better at it and better results. And I like to think you get kind of, well, I know you get, uh, I personally get a high off finishing material and then playing it and then eventually recording it possibly. And performing it if you ever do that again <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh that's so amazing and what was that one precise moment that influenced into what you're doing today um i mean i watched uh that's an interesting question i could the first thing that just popped to mind right now was uh i remember i would watch i mean i would see my dad was a singer songwriter and i'd watch him play and perform but we also this is back in the days of vhs and public television and it, this is back in maine and I remember he re he tape recorded Neil Young a Neil Young special episode of Austin City Limits, 
And because I was on a VHS tape and there wasn't things to just watch on TV, um, I would watch that recording a lot. And that was when he was doing that album that he did with Whalen, the Comes a Time stuff, and then the the uh, the Harvesters, the International Harvesters stuff. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so that was a pretty pretty big influence on me, and uh, went down the alt country road for a while. But yeah, mm -hmm. that sounds amazing too. And who are some of your other uh, favorite artists and singers growing up besides Neil Young? Growing up, um, I mean, obviously like the big dogs like Bob Dylan. Uh, even maybe someone like Bruce Springsteen or Tom Petty, but then uh, a huge influence on me via my dad. My dad, my dad's favorite songwriter was a guy named John Stewart, who was in the Kingston Trio originally. In the oh world. yeah, I remember the Kingston Trio. And yeah, uh, and he, he went on. That's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he went on to have that song called Gold. With, he recorded with Stevie Nicks and Lizzie. I Bessie remember Nick. that was one of my favorites back in the day. Oh my yeah. goodness! I mean, he made a nice comeback. I mean. That song is still ringing my head this time. So. Yeah, he, he recorded uh, one of his best albums. I, the folklore is that he was across the street. Dylan was recording Nashville Skyline, and he was in another studio in Nashville with the same musicians, and they were recording his album, um, California. What the heck is it called? I can't believe I'm drawing a blank on this. But anyway, that's easy to find. Um, so he was a big influence of mine. And then a little later in life, I've, I've kind of followed some independent songwriters like guy Jason Molina. Who passed away a few years ago from magnolia electric company he's one of my favorites uh will oldham or bonnie prince billy i like him just for the sheer volume of material and how he reinvents himself all the time and uh writes good songs and kind of challenge seems to challenge himself right like lately over this pandemic he's been doing different cover songs they seem to come out every two weeks and that kind of stuff's a big influence um and then my friends who I play music with here in Portland. Just, mm -hmm. And how long have you been living in Portland? Since about 1998. Oh, wow. So, okay. Yeah, that's yeah. right. I, I just wanted to clarify that. It seems like yeah. you've been a fixture in the music scene for a while. And we'll talk about experience with um, the front man for Hearts of Folk and more. But first, listen to the Mike Whitener Show at the themikewhitenershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give a shout out to our official sponsor and international award-winning author, Mia Mosin Zia. If you love fast-paced mysteries, then you love Missing by Mia Mosin Zia, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast-paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is an illusion and the ones you love will be the first to go missing. Also, it's also available in paperback and ebook on Amazon. Missing by Mia Motion Zia has garnered great reviews and even loved by Hollywood celebs, including Joanne Cassie, Forbes Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today. Missing by Mia Motion Zia, available on Amazon. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the MikeWidenerShow.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, Apple, and more. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel and follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with singer-songwriter of Portland, Oregon, coming originally from California. Radio receivers, Nate Wallace here on the Mike Widener Show. And uh, you're the front man for Hearts of Oak. And uh, tell us more about uh, Hearts of Oak and some uh, other projects you worked with. Yeah, um, Hearts of Oak is currently recording new material we we were chipping away at it maybe different members of the band would go into the studio and record a little bit at a time so <clears throat> we probably have a record in there somewhere but we haven't been able to get back into it um we're all all self self quarantine you know, what do you call it sheltering in place <laughs> right. in place there's a lot of names for it. it's um i mean shelter in place quarantine or stay at home and yeah. more than else stay safe bubble i mean Boy, I'm just I'm on. just washing my hands, but um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so we'll probably get back into that when whenever things get back semi back to normal, and then um, I've just been the oh sorry back to about Hearts of Oak. Um, we did five records, so if we do another one, that will be six records, and we did the first one in 2008, 
and uh that i was playing a show and i met a met ezra meredith who's now in hearts of oak and he also produced all these records produced the radio receiver record as well he has a studio here in portland deer uh the deer lodge aka deer lodge records um and basically meeting him was kind of a catalyst for being able to to ease into recording and not just have to go in and like and do it all in one couple of days you know so that was i was really blessed to get have that scenario happen and, and meet him um yeah and hearts of oak i think yeah it, it was it it's evolved i mean we did those five records and i don't expect everyone here to go listen to all five of those records but if you do it's kind of a journey that's real acoustic and, and folky with fiddle and pedal steel kind of in the beginning to eventually just a psychedelic rock and roll band by that fifth record mm -hmm. with like long instrumentals and stuff. Okay. Yeah. And how'd you guys form uh, Hearts of Oak? How'd you guys first come together? Um, I was just getting different folks to play with me in the beginning, but on the last two records, it kind of formed into a pretty solid lineup of the same five of us. Uh, Aaron Folkrod on bass, um, Barry Walker Jr. on pedal steel, Ezra Meredith on uh, electric guitar, and uh, Jay Lever on the drums, and myself um, playing and singing. Um, and we started playing a lot of shows over that, so that would be over like the last five five years or so. And it's that was a pretty solid lineup. And we played so many. I kind of radio receiver i'll transition into that because it it kind of evolved out of me writing the same amount that i normally would if not more but we're playing so many shows that it was always we're always getting together and practicing and getting ready for the next show and just not we're all adults and have families and stuff so we're not we weren't taken off to go spend time in a studio for a week because we all live here in the studios here it's kind of it was, we were never getting around to recording as much as I wanted to for as much stuff as I had. So I, and I also, you know, know a lot of musicians in Portland. So I kind of, a friend of mine, Mark had who plays drums, moved up here from California and uh, moved in not too far from me, moved in across the street from my friend, Anna, who plays violin and radio receiver and sings. And uh, then a friend of mine, Jason played bass on that. So I kind of put this other project together geographically <laughs> it's like you know, we're close to me we could get together without disrupting too much of our time and uh practice at anna's house in her basement and uh kind of worked out mm -hmm. and it, that all came together really quickly so mm -hmm. uh, are those five albums from uh hearts of oak which, which yeah. you think really stands out and uh maybe um talk about some of the songs that really stand out for you guys getting most airplay and whatever else um i think the the fourth record new england probably stands out the most um the first song on that is a song called Used to It Now. Um, got a little bit of play and uh, and it's a good song, of course. And it was kind of that transition album where we weren't doing just the straight folky alt country thing. It kind of got a little more rocking and it was just more, in, I don't know, catchier tunes and stuff. And uh, yeah, that, that, when I look back on it, that's, that's one of my favorites, but they kind of, they kind of change a lot. <laughs> Whatever's new. <laughs> <I don't> know. <laughs> you know? Right now, my favorite is these songs that I haven't recorded yet. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I, I say that's probably best too. And what do you base your lyrics on? Um, I don't, it's funny with radio receiver I wrote and well, I guess I always have, I don't always write a straight up story song, um, but so I kind of like, I kind of like the way words flow together. And when we're talking about influencer, they're like someone like John Prine, you might just say a line because it's funny and it sounds good or, or it's witty. I would do that a lot, catch a melody and then write from that one thing, whether I went backwards or forward or got a bunch of stuff from it. I could usually write pretty quick that way. Um, and at first glance, it might not be a cohesive bunch of stuff, but if you kind of, you know, I usually just woodshed my songs and play them for a while until they kind of would allow cut verses and, and then you're like, oh, that's all right. That makes sense. And I don't, I don't like to be super plain straight ahead with, with the lyrics. I like to leave it a little bit up to people's imaginations and my own even, you know, so. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and that's fascinating too. And we're going to have you, um, 
play one of those songs in um, just a minute, which is called Innkeeper. You listen to the Mike Wagner Show at themikewagnershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios, and brought to you by our, our sponsor, international war winning author Mia Motion Zia of the book Missing. And you can find that on Amazon and ebooks and more as well, too. And we'll be back um, with Nate Wallace from Radio Receiver playing Innkeeper in one minute after this timeout. You're listening to the Mike Wagner Show at themikewagnershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, it's time to give a shout out to our official sponsor, international award winning author Mia Mosin Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, then you love Missing by Mia Mosin Zia, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is an illusion and the ones you love will be the first to go missing. It's available on paperback and ebook on Amazon. So grab your copy today. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the Mike Show.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash the Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, Apple, and more. Also coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, TuneIn, and Pandora. Heard worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Himalaya, and more. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. And follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We hear a singer songwriter, Nate Wallace of Radio Receiver, the front man for Heart to Vogue from Portland, Oregon, on the Mike Wagner Show. And um, you also got a tune for us to play. And um, tell us about the song Innkeeper and uh, go ahead and uh, play for us. Yeah, um, this is probably one of the more recent songs I've written. And uh, it I can't remember how the, the catalyst for this one exactly, but um, I ended up just doing a theme of, um, I don't know, it's kind of about opioids and uh, and you know, losing people to that. And uh, so that's kind of the theme. And then there's just a, just some imagery around maybe that, that life spot, lifestyle or how that might affect somebody or, yeah. But uh, mm -hmm. so I'll give that a whirl for you if, if you'd like, you ready? Okay, go ahead. Here's Innkeeper from Nate Wallace, radio receiver on the Mike Wagner Show. Go ahead, Nate. Ah, the rivers with power. Painters with drums Cycle in the night Black hair with no light Cut cold, it flew A man out of the weather Who knew and The dank basement smell
Wonderful. Love it. Innkeeper by Nate Walls, radio receiver on the Mike Wagner Show. And where, where can we find Innkeeper at? You can't find it yet. Uh, it's not out yet. <laughs> you can find oh, it on Mike, not yet. Mike okay. Wagner podcast. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a start. Or maybe yeah. um, you can just um, tell people where can we find your music? Yeah, um, right now Radio Receiver's on Bandcamp, Spotify, Pandora, YouTube, Apple Music. Um, the Bandcamp site and the, also the is under radioreceiver.bandcamp and uh, the Deer Lodge Records Bandcamp page as well and Discogs page has it. And you can get the vinyl still, I've got some left and uh, also plenty of CDs and got a few cassettes left if any of the kids want those. And uh, yeah, I think that's where you can find it. And if you're in Portland, it's in some record stores here in Portland, Mississippi that, Records. Yeah. That sounds very good. We will check those out. And uh, just a couple of things here, Nate, um, with Radio Receiver here on the Mike Wagner Show. And what can we expect from you in 2021 and beyond, Nate? Well, it's a, it's a little bit unknown, but if if the if the pandemic, if we beat it, you know, and we can get back to playing shows and recording, um, I, I'll probably get back to working on that Hearts of Oak record if... Um, depending on what everybody, if we can get everyone together. Um, if not, I'll probably just, I plan to record another radio receiver record because I've got the songs I want to do with those folks. And um, and I've got some other ideas. <laughs> you know? it, it's um, not, it sounds like you're looking forward to it as well. Yeah. And who do you consider biggest influence in your career? In my career? Yes. Um, probably in the last 10 years, it was Jason Molina from Magnolia Electric Company because I just... I mean, his song, his songs are one of the ones that they just get me. Like, I just love it. Um, it's, and also just the way he performed as an artist. I recently saw a YouTube video where he was playing in a, I forget what town, but the fire marshal set, shut him down. And then he went across the street to like the courthouse steps because this venue was a, a courthouse and uh, just played for the people on the courthouse steps. And someone had a video from a show from like, you know, 20 years ago. So I was like, ah, oh, that's just magical, you know? Like, so hey, that's probably, Right off the top of my head, my favorite. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? Oh, man. What is it? Is it in regards to playing music? Like writing play songs? Yeah. I don't know. Keep your chin up. <laughs> but it's, uh, yeah, you know, look, find something, find some little thing that gives you a little satisfaction and work on it. You know, for some people, that's exercise or sports or writing or, or, conversation you know just because you're alone these days you can still get together you can still talk to people you know um and if yeah and if specifically to songwriting i don't have any great tips because i think it's such a personal thing that you just gotta some people can work hard at it and that works for them some people can sit around and then get struck by lightning you know mm -hmm. i don't know <laughs> so. and of course that stuff happens and before we go nate um would you like to play uh one more song for us before we wrap up the mike wagner show yeah, I'll play this tune off the radio receiver record. It's called Soldier's Boy. And uh, this song is uh, was inspired by a dream I had one night. Um, a childhood friend um, didn't really grow up with his mother, but his mother was from the Philippines and his dad met her in the war. And somehow in the dream, the mom was the soldier. It, and that was all the song. That's all the song really got based off of. It's not really about anything other than I had a dream one night about my friend's mom who I'd never met. So give that a shot. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't long now. I'll get your pity. You can tell me anything. You're so pretty. Yeah. 
That was fantastic. Soldier Boy with Nate Walls of Radio Receiver on the Mike Wagner Show. A very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic. Looking forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor. Keep us up to date. Love you back on 2021 and beyond. And once again, tell us about your upcoming projects, your website, how do people contact you, where can people purchase or listen to your music? Um, you can find the most current music, Radio Receiver, uh, Radio Receiver Bandcamp dot com probably just type that in it'll pop right up um, that's the best place to find me uh, then the labels website deerlodge.com or deerlodgepdx.com like the airport in portland deerlodgepdx.com um, that's got everything on there and that would have like um, if we were playing shows they'd be on there um, that kind of thing we've got a facebook page you can just look for that too if you go to either one of those first two places you'll you'll find the other ones we certainly will do that. Once again, Nate from Radio Receiver, very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely great. Looking forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor, keep us up to date. Love you back on 2021 and beyond. And don't forget to keep in touch. You've been fantastic.